Well, I can't remember the last time I had a video contest, but man, if any video was made for a contest, it's this one. Let's talk about it next on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here with one of those stories that just make you shake your head and say, well, how the heck did that happen? But stay tuned, because that's where you come in, as we try and figure out exactly what the heck happened. So this past April 10th, an EasyJet A320, cruising on a leisurely holiday flight from Luton in the UK to Morocco, when suddenly two hours into the three and a half hour long trip, the passengers aboard the flight to Agadir in Morocco were told over the plane's PA system that they were diverting due to an onboard emergency. Well, as you can imagine, as the Airbus A320 began descending at over 5,000 feet per minute, as it raced towards the nearest airport for an emergency landing, the passengers began musing amongst each other as they craned their necks to and fro searching the cabin, hoping to get a glimpse of the onboard emergency that had interrupted their long-awaited Moroccan getaway. Was it an elderly pensioner suffering from a myocardial infarction? A young mother, perhaps, delivering octuplets a bit prematurely just off the coast of Portugal? Or maybe a randy couple, while in the throes of mile-high passion, found themselves suddenly stuck in the blue waters of the lavatory 35,000 feet above the earth with no means of escape. With each passing mile, you can imagine the rumors grew as they spread from person to person, while the Airbus continued with this unscheduled diversion. However, what they didn't know, out of fear of spreading panic among the passengers, was that the injured party was none other than the captain of the ship himself. But if the plane was diverting for an emergency landing, then for sure the captain must have succumbed to something nefarious. Perhaps his salmon was poisoned, maybe a sudden stroke or heart attack, but whatever it was, they needed to get the plane on the ground in a hurry. According to the report received by the tower in Faro, Portugal, the senior officer was in so much pain he was unable to continue to helm the ship, forcing the co-pilot to make the decision to divert to the nearest airport. Thankfully, the first officer was indeed able to land the plane safely in Faro, Portugal. But still, no one knew what terrible ailment befell the captain. Not the tower or the passengers or even the media. When asked, all a spokesman for EasyJet would say is that the nature of the injury could not be revealed due to medical confidentiality. But of course you know what his ailment was because I put it in the thumbnail in the title. But an unnamed source at Faro Airport said the EasyJet captain had suffered a dislocated shoulder. Upon hearing that news, the entire world said, Huh? How is it possible for a pilot to dislocate his shoulder? while sitting in the cockpit while the plane is flying smoothly on autopilot. Why, this has to be one of the biggest aviation mysteries since Amelia Earhart. As word quickly spread among the aviation community, other pilots also had the same question we do. How could this possibly happen while sitting in your seat? Yes, pilots the world over are truly baffled at this one in a million injury. One pilot reached for comments said, I've never heard of a captain dislocating a shoulder during a flight. Well, yeah, that's because nobody has. Another pilot asked, what was he doing, gymnastics on the flight deck? It's just bizarre. Or as I have personally speculated, was there possibly a scuffle between the captain and the first officer? Maybe a little Napoleon Dynamite slap action over who got the chicken and who got the quesadillas. In the call to air traffic controllers, the co-pilot had said the captain had become incapacitated and requested permission to land. The emergency was declared when Flight 2213 was about 60 miles from Faro Airport in Portugal. The Airbus landed 18 minutes after the distress call. Passengers on the flight were taken to a hotel for an overnight stay because the diversion meant the crew reached their maximum legal operating hours. However, they continued on to Morocco the following morning. Well, as they say, all's well that ends well. Okay, first of all, I would like to wish the captain a speedy and hopefully painless recovery. And no, I'm not making fun of his pain. But I do have a question. Seriously, how is this possible? And as I have many thoughts running wild in my brain, I would rather hear how you think this happened 
And this is where the calm test comes in. Just make sure to keep your comments PG and family friendly, of course. But to the person that comes up with either the funniest or just the best guess as to how this poor chap dislocated his shoulder by doing absolutely nothing, I'll send you some cheesy free Maximus merch. Maybe a cap or a hoodie or a mug. Oh gee, how exciting does that sound? But my audience is always witty and sharp. So keep it clean and have fun with this. And seriously, let's hope the captain is doing well. Well, that's all I have for now. James A. Elliott and Mark Clark, thanks for the coffee. As always, if you'd like to help support the channel, the Max merch and coffee links are in the description. And on your way out, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.